guys welcome back to calendry my name is the boy with candace so today we're going to get started with another video and this video is going to be about schizotypal schizotypal personality disorder um so we're going to talk about some of the symptoms and some of the treatment right um so if you're new welcome um our check-ins is basically what's your mood for today as long as it's positive and appropriate feel free to type it in the comments below guys um I usually do dance moves, so I really don't have a dance move today. <laughs> Never fails, right? So my smile will do it. That's my espresso therapy for today. Okay, so this disorder is can be this well, it's described um, based by WebMD, SI behavior, speech patterns, thoughts, or perceptions. Um, it also classifies as other seeing certain behaviors as being eccentric or being odd. So some of the symptoms is that the individual may dress, speak, or act in an odd way. Um, they may be suspicious or paranoid. They may be uncomfortable or anxious in social situations due to distrusting of others. They may have a few friends. They may be uncomfortable with intimacy. Um, also possibly tend to misinterpret reality or have um, distorted perceptions, example, making noises um, for voices. Um, they may have odd beliefs or magical thinking. And then some of the examples they had was, um, I believe, maybe believing that you're psychic. And that's not to take away from anybody who believes that they are. Um, also, Individual may be preoccupied with fantasy or daydreaming. Um, they tend to be stiff and awkward when relating to others. Um, they come across emotionally distant. They have a limited emotional response or seem flat. So the difference between this disorder and schizophrenia is with schizophrenia, um, the question that everyone seemed to ask is, do you hear things that um, others do not hear or do you see things that others do not see? And that is the difference between this person I mean, this personality disorder and schizophrenia. So with schizophrenia, um, you hear the voices or you see something that's not there. But with this disorder, it's not the case, that's not a symptom, and it'll just be the schizotypal um, personality disorder. So as far as treatment, they use psychotherapy, which is a form of counseling, um, and that's the most common one, where the goal is to help change relationship styles, expectations, coping patterns, um, habits of thinking and behavior. And you can also use psychotherapy, which includes um, CBT, Cognitive Behavior Therapy, um, which shows how others see um, the individual behaviors and manages the anxiety and improves social skills. Um, also, going back up to psychotherapy really quick, so the individual can learn to recognize when they are destroyed in reality. So um, you can learn, so just an example to wrap my head and maybe your head around it, like when you're learning your triggers that anger you. So you recognize, okay, this is what made me mad or this is why I'm mad. This is the same thing. So this individual will be able to recognize when they're destroyed in reality. It's not necessarily the same thing, as so I'll take that back. But they're, they know that their suspicion, that their paranoia, um, well, they will learn that um, it's not actually as it seems. So another way that treatment can be done is including supportive expressive therapy, which is um, helping the individual to open up about thoughts, feelings, and building relationships. Also supportive therapy, which is teaching how to handle negative emotions or thoughts, how to trust and to, how, and to build relationships. So I actually want to go a little deeper about supportive therapy and learn a little more about it. And then we can do a video about that as well, because I think that'd be great. Um, and then family therapy. So family therapy can be used um, it works best when you involve the family and have them as support for the individual. And then meds. Meds can be used. However, the meds can be used for other symptoms 
or disorders displayed and it can be anxiety or depression so inside a persons um, and things of that nature that help so we actually got through that really quickly we had five minutes <laughs> beautiful so anyway so for the next video I, I want to learn a little bit more about supportive therapy and then we can talk about that and then that can be kind of by leeway because I wanted to make a video about coping skills. So we always say learning coping skills, but what do I mean directly when I say that? So um, it could be like some examples. I can think of some right now, you know, problem solving, um, learning how to express yourself, communicating. Um, so yeah, those are some examples, but I want to come up with a few more to kind of uh, break down what I'm talking about when I'm talking about coping skills and then like I said that would be linked with the support of therapy guys so thanks for watching um, like share and subscribe like share and subscribe let me know your experience with any of these symptoms or if you know someone as long as it's positive and appropriate you can put it in the comments below um, yeah happy Sunday guys um, have a good week and I'll see you later on this week